Hi, my name is Dr. Moses Gedenji. I'm the resident medical officer at Ngara Comprehensive Health Services. And today I have the honor of partnering with Ponea Health. GAD just means gastroesophageal reflux disease. Um, what most people term as Nikona ulcers and they'll always point to their uh, central chest or epigastrium. And um, what this means is basically you have a, a loose lower esophageal sphincter that means uh, the valve or the muscle that holds the lower food pipe so that acidic food does not go back up the food pipe. Then you have that valve being loose and then you have reflux. That's where the term comes from. And gastric is the stomach. Esophagus is the food pipe. So it's gastroesophageal reflux disease. Um, in an English sentence is where acidic content of the stomach goes back through the lower esophagus and you get a burning sensation. Symptoms associated with GAD, the most common is what you've just described as heartburn. People complain of a dull or burning sensation in the central chest or uh, left upper quadrant. Other symptoms include uh, a cough at night that doesn't go away, especially when you're lying flat and simply because now gravity works to bring back whatever is in the stomach, back to the esophagus. Um, others are an anatomical defect. That means uh, uh, a congenital defect of the food pipe or a defect of the food pipe which you're born with. Others include smoking, alcohol intake, again, obesity. So basically, the risk factors for peptic ulcer disease and, and GUD are interchangeable or quite commonly shared. Heartburn simply just means uh, acidic content from the stomach going up to your esophagus. So anything that might lower that uh, acidity or those who are good in chemistry raise the pH of that content really works. And some of these are, again, toothpaste, which is high in bicarbonate, taking your actual terms, taking eno, um, and again, having early dinner or not eating dinner late and going to bed immediately after eating, simply because uh, digestion will take place when you're lying flat and that acidic content could go back. So a simple thing like um, having an early dinner and staying up about two to three hours after dinner really go a long way in, in relieving symptoms. The term stones is self-explanatory, like they are stones ni Maui, and gal, they come from the gal bladder or uh, I think most people would know the Swahili term, nyongo. Um, so gallstones are actually stones within the gall bladder or biliary tree for that, for that matter. That means anywhere between the gall bladder to the bile ducts and hepatic ducts. First of all, again, risk factors for gallstones. You could have anatomical causes, infectious causes, and modifiable causes. Um, I think it's easier for me to talk about the modifiable causes. And again, alcohol intake, smoking, obesity, a diet that is quite high in fats, those are the commonest risk factors for, for gallstones. Mm -hmm. Again, also they are, tend to be more common in the females than, than the males. So symptoms associated with gallstones include Severe um, pain. This pain is usually on the right side of the chest or right side of the upper abdomen. And the pain is quite severe and may actually radiate to your right shoulder. Um, other symptoms include nausea, that is uh, relentless to medication, vomiting. Um, but basically, for you to suspect gallstones, then these symptoms occur together where you have pain in your right ab upper abdomen, you have nausea and you usually have intractable vomiting that is usually yellowish green and very bitter. Okay, treatment options basically depend on two things. One is the severity or whether complications have occurred and two is the size of the gallstones. Now for larger gallstones, uh, surgical removal of the gallstones is, is indicated. 
So you get a surgery where the gallstones are removed and this can either be open surgery or minimally invasive stroke laparoscopic surgery. Um, if the gallstones are not as severe or symptoms are not as severe and gallstones are uh, sizably um, manageable, then there's actually medication to dissolve the gallstones. Like I mentioned, uh, is avoiding the modifiable causes. Uh, weight loss is also a big issue and reducing fats in your, in your diet. So thank you for joining us in this discussion. You can book our services at ponea.com and we look forward to joining you in more discussions. Thank you. Thank you.